Hello, this is How Could It Be, and today we are going to be reading some entitled parent stories. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. A lot of these are short except for the last one. I'm so sick and tired of my dad and uncle treating me like their personal maid. My dad forced me to cook for him literally every single day, and he hasn't once cooked for himself. I have to wash a salad and cook whatever meat or bread or beans or whatever he gets. And I have to drag his table to his chair and serve him his tea. On top of that, I have to clean literally every room in the house, minus my brother's room, although I used to be forced to clean it. And not only do I have to clean my bedroom, but I have to clean the kitchen, the living room, and bathroom with no help. And my dad makes me clean this table, despite the fact that's literally his own freaking table. And he, that he uses it every day, and when I ask him why do I have to clean everything when it's all out of our house, and all of us should clean, not only me, he got really mad and said that it's not that. And then what is it? Why am I the only one expected to clean? It's our entire house, and my dad doesn't give me any reason or answers as to why I am the only one expected to do all the cleaning and he just responds with anger and no answers. And every time my uncle comes to our house, I'm expected to bring him a plate it with his food and a drink. And, and then, and after a while, I'm expected to bring him ice cream. I can't take it anymore. But when I complain about this on some other subreddits, I get downvoted, and people will tell me, "Yeah, but say that kids should be able to cook for their parents." No, parents and ch uh, children should cook for themselves. I am so tired on, on, of enablers on Reddit and excusing lazy parents who treat their kids like servants. Oh yeah, writers are just... That's the worst. That's why I haven't logged in on this. I refuse. <sighs> Entire father gives me COVID. Blames me for not wearing a, a mask at work. And you should probably wear your mask, but... These days, you know, people should be vaccinated. That shouldn't matter. I'm so unimpressed. It's not funny. I'm 27. And, and still live at home, go figure, with my parents both in their early 60s, and my mother comes home from work with COVID. It's fine, we tested, I was able to continue to go to work without out hassle as I have my own tiny house on her land. But I still come inside every day to do things. She stayed away from me, sanitized everything she touched or accidentally coughed on. I was fine. My father gets it. Asked me to pick up masks for him for when he goes out. He's semi-retired and sleeps till 3 p.m. every day. So I got masks to wear around the house and sanitizer to, so my um can recover and I don't get sick. This man does nothing. He's gone everywhere I have been. Coughing without covering his mouth, not wearing a mask, not sanitizing anything he touches, and I get sick. I work eight hours a day. I'm away from the house sometimes longer than twelve hours a day to get to and from work. It's now summer, and I don't get paid to leave from work for being sick, and I definitely can't afford taking time off because of it. 
So what does he do? Tells me to suck it up. I've been working my whole life. You don't get to tell me off in my house. I have been generous with you, and you tell me off. You should wear your mask everywhere you go. Some of your work probably gave, gave it to you. Word for word, what he said might have some very obvious threats about harming me. It's going to be low to high 30s all week, 80 degrees for my non-metric friends. And I will be in a paper mask, hopefully not passing out and falling in broken glass or something like that at work. Awful. What self of entitled at ill jerk. My parents stole my bike. This happened. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing five years ago, and it was just so weird and stupid. I feel like sharing. I had this high quality bike which had a broken tire, since my friend borrowed it. I just divorced my wife and bike was locked in our house yard. As you may understand, next few months I didn't really, I didn't have time to think and go on my bike. Our divorce had children included, so my mind was pretty scattered. Eventually, I ran my bike and went there to get it back. I was surprised when I didn't see it anywhere, and asked my ex-wife had she moved it inside to storage. She told me mom and stepdad came and picked it up. I was a little bit confused since mom didn't inform me about this and decided to call her. It went like this. Hi mom, I heard you have my bike. Hi, yes, we fixed it up, and Stepdad is going to fix it for himself. Wait, what? It's my bike. I would like to have it back. Yes, but it has a broke tire, and you didn't use it. So Stepdad decided to do you a favor and fix it. So when can I pick it up? Oh, he's going to fix it It for him to sell. But it is my bike, and you took it without my permission. But we bought it for you, and you didn't use it, and the tire was broken. But you don't even have a key and chain anti tire without it. Don't worry, your stepdad hawks up acts all the bike a lot off. For your information, yes, they bought that bike for me as a gift when I was sixteen years old. And I was thirty two at that point. So it had been my bike for sixteen years. For the next three weeks we went back and forth how it's my bike and I want it back. Eventually I'd say it to my mom that they had stolen my bike. It took a little while to make her understand that. Finally, they gave me my bike. They gave my bike back to me. Now, three years later, I'm going to say you know I have my parents since I have a medical exam early in the city they live in. I probably leave before they wake up. So should I take take the keys of their Mercedes Benz and take their car? You know, since it's just sits on parking lot and they're not uh, using it at the moment. Forget my English, it's my third language and I'm dyslexic, and I'm dyslexic. I love this. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have laughed, that was not okay. Also, yes, do it. I am literally reading the comment and I want to rebel against it. Because, fuck you. Do it. Take their car. Make them understand what they did to you. <sighs> Ow, this is hurting my eyes. Are you loving this? I'm not. My mom doesn't believe me when I feel sick because of certain foods. Buckle up, folks. So you've probably read the title, and I'm sure this is something that lots of people can, here can relate to, but I'm posting anyway. It's just to make sure I'm not in the wrong here. It's, a, it's okay for parents to feed their children food that gives them nausea. I've always wondered if that was the case, because I am quite the picky eater, as some would say. I mean, if they know it gives you nausea, then it's not okay, but if they don't know, then that's a different story. I've always hated that term. The reason that people... The reason being that people immediately will think you're being a brat, fussy, or childish. My mom thinks the same way and doesn't believe that... 
believe it when and I say I don't quite enjoy something, it's not because it's just not my favorite dish. It's because I feel physically ill and get nauseous once eating it. She, had an, she doesn't understand when I tell her this, and she takes it as a personal insult. Whenever I ask her if I can at least just skip dinner this one time so I don't have to feel sick for the rest of the evening, that's that I don't waste the food, she always forces me to eat food that makes me sick. And yeah, funnily enough, it makes me sick. And boom, she gets mad. She gets mad at me and blames me for being so dr for being a dramatic liar. Why in the hell would I pretend to not like certain foods? People give you shit constantly for being a picky eater. Why would I willingly want that for myself? I don't make a big deal out of it or anything. I don't ask, ask people to eat differently or scoff at others' food, so why is it okay the other way around? The reason why I'm granting here now is because I've just finished this dinner and I'm feeling, guess what? I feel like shit again! Is there anything I can do for her to understand? I feel like I've tried every method under the sun. It's frustrating and I'm tired of feeling nausea almost every damn day. Ooh, we're getting some anger back in the voice. Let's see if I can be angry this time. Oh wow, I think this is actually really well fitting for Angie too. I, 17F, am resisting the urge to punch my brother, 8, 8M, in the face. Trigger warning, abuse. Of course. Ooh, this is going to be a long one, so please bear with me. Throughout my childhood, I have suffered from physical and verbal abuse from my father. I think it's alright from 8 years old. My father would hit me whenever he felt like it, such as when I refused to go to the park with him, and when I refused to wear a dress. Those happened when I was 9 or 10. Most of the time, he would hit me when I lost my match in, a, in my sport, not going to specify. He would usually hit me using a cane or just throw stuff at me. He would also call me a useless piece of garbage most of the time. I was basically forced into this sport because it was something he couldn't do when he was a child. I never liked the sport, but he wanted me to go professional. This changed when I was 12 and my parents got a foreign coach to live with me in an apartment and coach me full time. I pulled out of middle school knowing that I had classes, which really effed my studies up. Worst of all, this coach made in two years of my life a living hell. I would train seven hours a day, seven days a week. In the addition, he would abuse me physically and verbally every single day. Once I went to a tournament with him and lost a match, he stopped me multiple times until I started bleeding. I kicked me on the floor, or my stomach hurt so much I couldn't eat. My parents knew all about the abuse, but didn't do shit, because my dad wanted me to climb the ranks of my sport. After two years, I got a pretty decent rank, and the coach, coach went back. My dad started treating me much better. The abuse got much lesser, and he started trying to change for the better. One thing that I'm fierce about is that I have a brother, nine years younger than me, and he is living my dream life. When I was his age, my schedule would be filled with activities that I couldn't do back home until 8 p.m. Now he finishes school at 1 and watches TV throughout the day. My parents don't set him into activities because they figured out it was very useless and didn't help me much. It was as, as so I am a guinea pig to them. My dad is much calmer now, so my, father, so my brother won't have to go through any of the shit I went through. And this makes me so sick. The fact my brother is an absolute asshat does not make it any better. He would yell at my mom and get whatever he wants. Once I, I started playing video games to have a bit of fun and asked my mom if she could give me $5 to purchase something in it, she said I was the extension should stop. My brother asked her if he, he could spend $50 in Roblox and she agreed. Honestly, what the fuck? Actually, that's kind of weird mess up parenting. My dad would buy my brother a shit ton of toys on his birthday. But I remember my dad didn't get me presents last time because he already did so much for me. I asked my dad once if my brother is going to go through the same path as me, but that said that he was old and tired. My brother should just 
play casually about us going to school to get a scholarship. Something I always wanted, but that only gave me the option to play sport full time or go to school full time. I chose to play because I knew he would be mad, so you didn't really have a choice. You had either or, or do the sport that you don't give a shit about or get beat. That's not really a choice. My mom is the only one that treats me nice, and I love her, but she has been only dedicating her time to my brother, and I feel so lonely now. I don't have friends because I don't go to school. I was always afraid I student, but now I don't even know oh, if I can survive in college because of the sick fantasy my dad wanted me to, fu to fulfill. We are considered upper middle class in my country, and my dad owns a few luxury cars. My dream was always to get into an Ivy League school, and one of the coaches from Columbia University contacted me to say they were interested. I was so happy I told my dad, but he said I should try to get a scholarship instead. But he could uh, uh, afford orchards. Or that absolutely broke me. My taking point was when I asked my mom to go out for lunch and spend time with her, but she didn't. So she obviously had to bring my brother along. Good old fried chicken, but due to his rotten, spoiled mouth, he needs to spit the fat out. So he was buying the chicken and constantly trying to spit the fat out. I got so mad, I was about to punch him in the face. Guys, I can't do this anymore. My brother is living the life I've never had with a sane father and a mom that loves him so much. I need advice. Should I just go to college in the US and just never return? How do I deal with this hate and jealousy I have towards my brother? But damn, getting a green card is tough. <clears throat> LP is LP. I'm gonna be real. You aren't mad at your brother. You're jealous because he got the life that you should have had. No child should be getting beat by their parents for literally not doing a sport that nobody gives a crap about. And I'm sorry. To anyone who says they give a crap, that uh, people give a crap about their sports, no. And that goes for every sport under the sun. Nobody cares except for people who actually play or used to play those sports. For the most part, they're worthless. And they're definitely not worth having your childhood stolen from you so that uh, you could play a sport that you didn't give a crap about. Anyway, that was Entitled Parents. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!